All right. A lot of times when you throw a jab, you're going to block it with a vertical block. Perfect time to get in there and lock in this block. Once you lock in this block with a little push, you want to move your elbow around and strike him right in the ear. Or if you're closer, right, right in the back of the head if you reach it. Okay. Why do I lock in his arms here? Because if he moves it back to a helmet block, right, nothing I can do here. Okay, he's got a really good protection here. Okay, so I got it. Once I get his hands here, I got to lock it in. Boom. Once I'm locking for a second, I pull it back. Push, push, pull, push, pull, elbow. Okay, so that's one way use it, uh, to do it. I can do it from this side. Push, pull, elbow. Now I've got his hands here. Perfect place to elbow right across the jaw. Or right behind the ear here, it really hurts. Nice soft spot there. Okay. Now, let's say he's really good, he's got really good reflexes, so he moves back. That's okay because in the cup down, it's cup down, right? We sink at the end. So he moves back, boom, sink. I still got his chest. Alright, we got enough momentum, let's go this way. Oh, this way, I go this way, he move back. I go boom. Okay? So that's not comfortable, especially when this turn. Okay, ideally you want to go boom, boom, he moves back, again, <laughs> okay, sink, let him do the sternum. Okay, it's not a knockout blow, but at least you got something. Instead of missing, you got something, right? Okay, another way of using the uh, the um, cup sound is like this. So let's say punch, he got his arm, good, boom, right here. Behind the elbow, turn around this way. Okay, so manage to trap his arm. Boom. Okay, up. Well, here's what you say that's not a cup down, it's going upwards. Well, sure it is, because you gotta start from here. Right, you gotta start from here, from your hip. So from your hip, this way. Okay, you wanna go about three fingers behind the elbow joint, that's where it's the most painful. And right there. Okay, now what you can do is move it up, then move it down. Okay, just turn them up. Alright, so that's it. And then another way of doing, using it is um, let's say that you can't go up, so you go down. Switch grip and elbow right into his arm. Especially if he's got a weapon, right? Let's say he's got a knife. You want to keep both arms on it and you want to disable his arm. So, one way you can strip the knife. Let's say you got a knife, strip the knife. Once you strip the knife, alright, another way of using the elbow is. Um, against weapons. So you want to use your first of all elbows to block because it's the least damage you're going to do if it cuts you is in the outside of your arms. First of all, block. Okay? Second thing you want to do is try to break elbow joints. Okay? So one way of doing it is going up and this way. That extends his arm and then if you hit him hard enough sometimes you drop the knife. He doesn't drop the knife, that's okay. Grab it and strip it all of the hand. Now I've got the knife. Okay? So one other way of doing it is um, here again. So, elbow block. This one doesn't work, right? So I strip the knife, and now I got this one here, right? So I can do another elbow strike at the same time. The elbow and pull. Okay. One other one you can do is uh, let's say that you do it again, and then again this side, right? So you do a kick. And then another elbow strike to the arm here. And then I can do it this way. Okay? And strip the knife. Alright? So elbows are very useful against weapons because you don't want to be using your hands to block a knife because obviously you're going to get cut. If you use elbows and your forearms to block at least this deflect knives, you got a lot better chances of surviving a knife attack. And it's really useful for breaking elbows, especially if you've got this specific boom right in the elbows. Okay, especially if he's holding tight, you can't strip it, you want to loosen up the arm, boom, right in the elbow joint there. Alright, so that's some ways you can use the cut out.